Alright guys, it's time to get ready for the fight. Um, this will be the last episode of Rookie to Champion Season 2. It's been a long series coming. It's been around for 10 months. It's only been like 18 episodes, and it's finally time to end it. Now, I know I've been gone for a few days. I want to explain real quick. And a quick way of saying it. Basically, I was gone. Oh yeah, I'm going to have a timestamp right here on the screen if you wanted to skip to the fight. Um, anyways, I'm sorry for being gone. I was just burnt out. More games are coming to the channel. Um, and I think that's what mainly I'm going to do, because I've, I've missed that. I mainly tried to just go for videos to get views on, instead of just in doing what I enjoy. That would be a lot simpler for me to just sit back and enjoy editing and have fun in general. But there will be another video, and, uh, you can probably guess what it will be. That's like a tech video. Um, when I say uh, like and subscribe, really appreciate it. Uh, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Also, today I'll be live on my Twitch. If they popped up on the screen, you'll get an idea. Also, uh, here's your daily meme. There you go. All right, but with enough shelf plugging, let's get right into the match. All right. Here we go. Time to get time to just do this last fight. Um. So yeah, if you can't tell, that ending part was just a joke. I re I did the last fight, and basically, um, I was just doing it as an example to show I wanted to do GSP. As the last fight, um, and there, but there was actually going to be another idea for another episode after this one, but that doesn't really work out now. And the reason why is because uh, the goal was to go to Walter weight, and we were going to fight GSP at 185, and then after that we were going to do a catch weight against uh, John Adams, who was the character of the first season. But since I screwed myself up and didn't go to Walter, uh, go to middleweight, I thought it would be kind of stupid to be like a guy that was fighting at 205 and 265. He's gonna be fighting a guy that is um, from 170, and I thought the I thought the weight difference was just way too high. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show like the intro. And there he is. I threw him into creative. I moved every all his tattoos in. There might be a few missing, but I don't know. And act like nothing's missing. He looks good, man. He's has uh, he's had so many different looks, and it's it's great. I'm showing the intro because I never really do, even though this intro just takes way too long, in my opinion. Same age. Both fighters identical in age. GSP will have a one inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Yeah, it is. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. Is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <coughs> it's time. Five rounds for the undisputed yep. UFC yep. Championship. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the challenger, George Rush St. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 37 wins, 
one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Body out of Hollywood, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Oh, it's lagging. Yeah, we touch gloves with GSP. There we go. Eh, uh, nothing. Alright, here we go. How long are we gonna last with GSP? Ooh, that was a nice leg kick. I gotta understand that his moves are gonna be a lot different. Since, like, the moves I gave him are not the same as, uh... As, uh... For his character. And of course, people are going to be cheering for GSP because he's a he's a he's a great guy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look. Oh no. Oh. Nope. For the first time ever, we're actually playing on like the hardest difficulty because I couldn't change difficulties during uh, the storyline, and I th you used to so. But I think they took it out. Wait. Oh. Ooh. I didn't think he had the spinning back kick. Ooh. GSP does not look good. Oh. No, it won't. Come on. Nope. Nope. I'm bullying GSP already. I'm not letting GSP win this fight because like, why would I do such a thing? Oh! Oh, I stopped him. No way. I wonder why I'm doing so much damage to him. I wouldn't have thought of it. Ooh! He got a takedown last second. Oh, that doesn't help at all for you, man. Okay, here we go. Look. Oh, look at the crowd change. They're cheering USA. GSP was here for like the first minute. Nine more, man. Another one. Ooh. Main problem there is that he chained. He shouldn't chain there. That's a bad. That's a bad decision to do there. Oh. Ooh. 
Them, them, all them times that, that he had the belt, which was 18 fights, 18 title defenses, he had the belt, not 18, 20, it's 26 times he had the belt. Nope. St. Pierre not looking good, he ain't gonna make it much longer. I'm brutalizing him, man. His only goal is takedowns, but he's sucking at doing them. Nope, not again. Nope. Shoot. Oh. That was sad, man. Shoot. Oh. It wasn't a competitive fight, though. Look at me. I don't even have bruises on me. Oh, I think he should be disappointed in his performance. Look at him, and then look at me. Here we go. Yep. It is. And that was the fight. Wow. Hmm. 38 and 1. What a great way to end the career. Yes. Alright, anyway, guys, that's the end of this series of Rookie Champion. If you liked it, then please give a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Content yeah. to come in the future. There will be a lot more gaming content coming in the near future. And yeah, guys, uh, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, guys, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.